Hi, I'm Joey with Celestial Fireglass, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble your round flame guard. To get started, open up the box your flame guard came in. Celestial Fireglass likes to double box our flame guards to help protect them through the rigors of shipping. Flame guards by Celestial Fireglass come with all connecting hardware included. On our round flame guards, the connecting hardware is included in a cutout of the protective foam packaging. Once you have set aside your connecting hardware, you can remove the protective foam packaging from around the glass plus the sleeves around each panel. Now is a good time to check and make sure you have all of your glass panels plus both the top and bottom connecting hardware. Once you have all of your glass panels and connectors ready, all you need to assemble your flame guard is a Phillips head screwdriver. To assemble your round flame guard, stand each glass panel up with the bottoms facing upwards. Arrange your glass panels into a rough circle shape. Once your panels are assembled in a circle, connect your first of the top connectors to two glass panels. Doing this upside down will keep the top of your flame guard level. When screwing the connector in place, leave the screws with a loose fit for now. After you've connected the first top connector, screw on the other three connectors with a loose fit as you may need to adjust each panel's position. Once you have all top connectors in place, you may start adding the bottom connectors. These are the ones with the rubber feet. These feet are held in place by the glass panels pushing up against them. So when you connect the hardware, make sure the panels are beside the rubber pieces instead of resting on top of the rubber pieces. You may need to move the panels so they are properly connected to the feet. After attaching the first bottom connector, the other three can be attached in the same way. Again, leave all screws with a loose fit as you may need to shift the panels once you have all connectors in place, you can now go to each top and bottom connector and tighten all of the screws. You want to make these as tight as you can with your screwdriver. After all screws have been tightened, you may lift the flame guard and turn it right side up with the feet on the flat surface. As you can see, this panel is not close enough to the center and the screw is not making full contact with the glass. Loosen the screw and adjust the panel, and then retighten the screw. You want to check all of the screws for this. Once all connections have been properly made, your flame guard will be sturdy and will be firmly held in position if you need to move it. And that's how to assemble your round flame guard. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have any other questions, or reach out to Celestial Fireglass and we'll be happy to help.